गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सर नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग हाउ इज एवरीबॉडी टुडे गुड मॉर्निंग सर इट्स लाइक पीपल आर जस्ट गेटिंग अप गुड जाओ अच्छे से अच्छे से उठ जाओ गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग रेडी फॉर द रिचुअल्स Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, let's let's begin. Okay, let's. Okay, everybody, gently close your eyes. Just start taking deep, long breaths. just keep all your attention focused on your become completely aware of your breath as the air goes in and the air comes out notice that when the air goes in it is quite cool and when it comes out it is slightly warm notice what else is happening in your body right now where are your feet touching the ground what is the placement of your hands right now and now move your awareness to what is happening around you kaun se aawaz is sunai de rahi hai kaisa mehsoos ho raha hai notice the surface of your skin How are you feeling over there? And as you become aware of all of this and being around you and inside you, now come into the present moment, which is the most beautiful moment. Like we're ready to do our mind work. Slowly open our eyes. Let's do a little bit of tapping. So today the theme of tapping will be our work. जो भी आप काम करते हो, tap करेंगे कि थोड़ा ध्यान दीजिए अपने काम के ऊपर. क्या कहीं पे स्ट्रेस हो रहा है कहीं पे टेंशन हो रहा है पे लिटिल अटेंशन टू योर वर्क एरिया कैश फ्लो इश्यू सेल्स नॉट हैपनिंग पीपल नॉट रिस्पॉन्डिंग द वे दे शुड मार्केट सिचुएशन whatever it is that is bothering you thoda uske upar dhyan dekhe hum tap karenge so let's tap first on the karate chop point then pay attention to your work related goals ke jo bhi goals hai uske par dhyan dijiye 
और कहीं पे भी अगर आपके गोल्स अचीव नहीं हो रहे तो उसके पीछे क्या कारण है उसको सोच के तो फील करके टैप करें द रोड ब्लॉक्स वॉट इज स्टॉपिंग यू फ्रॉम अचीविंग दोज गोल and how do those road blocks make you feel that is most important for example you want to achieve a sales of a certain number वो सेल्स अचीव ही नहीं हो रहा है एवर अमाउंट ऑफ एफर्ट यू ट्राई देन हाउ डज दैट मेक यू फील think about all possible reasons why you are not able to accomplish the goal think about each reason see what is the feeling and when you do this all the negativity connected with the goal is released and that improves your vibration towards the goal. and you see goals manifesting much much faster
Let's take two more rounds, last two rounds. Let's take one last round. Get a feeling of yawning, burping, all that is very normal. In fact, it's very good. It releases all the unwanted energies. Wonderful. After completing your current round, take three deep breaths. Inhale from your nose, exhale from your mouth. Come your Gary Sasali Jetin. Blow it out of your mouth. Then just keep your eyes closed for a few moments. Now notice the stillness in your mind. Shanti hai. Wonderful. When you're ready, slowly open your eyes and have some water. Thoda sa pani pili jay. Okay. How many of you feel that after doing the daily practices, your opportunities have increased, your creativity has increased? Are able to achieve your professional goals. Type me if that is happening for you. Pritaji, Shraddhaji. Mohan, Fancy, Madhviji, Pallaviji, Ushaji, Revaji. That's very good. Hetal, Gauravji. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Now, why does this happen? Because when you release all the negativity, first of all, your creativity increases because your mind is extremely creative. The negativity does not allow it to be creative. So once you release all the negativity, the mind is creative, you will be able to generate amazing ideas. Secondly, your vibration increases. When your vibration increases, you are able to attract better things into you better opportunities, better people, all of that. So it is absolutely scientific. More you release, more beautiful things you will act into. So in spite of all the challenges, problems, obstacles that we may have, our work is providing us a lot of things, right? It provides for our finances, 
gives us opportunity to enhance our knowledge, skills, meet people, travel, kitne sare benefits. As a mere kaam mein to benefit hi benefit. You get to meet so many people and learn so many new things. I see people transforming their lives, so it makes me so happy. So kitne sare benefits hai. So we should be extremely grateful to our work and what it does for us, you know. So let's pull out our gratitude channels. Be deeply grateful to you. Today is the last day of May. We are almost halfway through the year. Wow.
Let's take two more minutes. Once you finish, you can just gently close your eyes and feel that gratitude from the depths of your heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we just seek forgiveness from God now because in all the work we do, sometimes we hurt people, sometimes we have to do things which we don't necessarily like. So seek forgiveness from God. Dear God, if I have hurt anybody, including myself, knowingly, unknowingly, directly, indirectly, in this life, or any of my previous lives. If I have hurt anybody through my thoughts, words, or deeds, I seek forgiveness from the bottom of my heart. Please forgive me and release me from those karma. Thank you, thank you, thank you. any specific people coming into your mind, bring them and seek forgiveness from them. Now visualize a beautiful divine white light coming directly from God. This is the light of unconditional love. God loves everybody, all children. 
visualizes beautiful divine white light falling on all of us like a waterfall. Mahsus kariye aapke upar ek waterfall ki tarah that is falling this beautiful unconditional love entering your body from the crown chakra filling up your entire body all the 50 plus trillion cells feel this unconditional love flowing through every single cell of your body like a river of healing and as it flows through every single cell releases all the unwanted thing heals us at a physical mental emotional and a spiritual Then visualize that all the unwanted things are leaving your system and going to God's light. All the unwanted karmic patterns, sanskaras, negativity, whatever is there, all of that is getting washed away. And going into God's light. And now if you pay attention to the center of your chest, where your heart center is located, you can see a beautiful, shining, green heart chakra. Completely clean, cleared, balanced, rotating in the clockwise direction. Absolutely shiny and radiant. And feel that this heart chakra is now radiating unconditional love and compassion. Feel that radiating into every single cell of your body. Then visualize this radiating to everybody around you, in your house, in your office in the city which you stay, the country, the continent, now spreading into the entire planet Earth. Your unconditional love and compassion flowing all through the planet. Thank you, thank you. Wonderful. So when you have a clean heart, your aura can be extremely powerful. People can sense your auras. For people like Buddha, you know, when they used to visit certain places in the territories around them for miles and miles together, crime rates reduced, you know, fights reduced, all the violence reduced. Because you can sense the aura can make a difference. It can just calm down everything. So, we have to make our aura so good that we don't have anything in our house, right? We don't have anything in the continent, but we don't have anything in our house. We have to love, compassion, and all our family members. Okay? Even our offices, wherever we go. Wonderful. Let's do a little meditation. Connect deeply with the Creator. Attention to your breath. You may transport yourself to one of the most beautiful places on planet Earth. A place where which is just really love. If you go there, then your mind is very calm and relaxed. Just be
And as you become aware of that place, notice the infinite intelligence at play. Look at the wonderful creations of God. Everything that you see, everything that you listen to, everything that you feel is divine expression of the source energy. Ek hi urja hai jiske alag alag roop hai. So mehsus kare hai. And feel that beautiful energy binding all of us together, the entire universe together. And you can imagine how intelligent this energy is. Infinite intelligence. But it is not only infinite intelligence, it is a loving, intelligent energy. God is pure, unconditional love. Shakti ko mehsus kariye aapke andar, aapke bahar, har jaga pe. For the people who know Theta Healing, see yourself in the seventh plane, merged with the vital. Feel the loving, intelligent energy all around you, inside you, everywhere. And once you connect with this intelligence, you can make a request as to what you wish to create in your life by visualizing and creating the images and the pictures of what you wish to create in your life. Remember your mind and create everything through your thoughts and your words and your images. So visualize your health. And imagine that you've already achieved that health. When you step onto the weighing scale, you see that you have achieved your weight goal. When you look into the mirror, you see that you achieved the look that you wanted. And see the face radiating, radiant, vibrant, energetic, full of energy. Smile on your face, calm and peaceful. Mentally resilient and strong. Able to deal with any situation that comes up. Notice what people around you are telling you about this. You will see people coming and asking you, Aapka chahera itna chamak kyo raha hai? Aapko batana hai, kaha jana hai chahera chamak chamkane ke liye? Now visualize your relationships. Visualize each one of your family members. See the smile on their face. Smile, happiness, joy, perfect health. See 
see them prospering in their life, achieving their goals. releasing their highest potential. You can feel the bonding amongst the family members. Zero judgment, zero criticism. Simply unconditional. No conditions attached. It's no longer that if you do this, I love you. If you don't do this, I don't love you. It's pure, simple, unconditional. Amongst all the family members, mutual respect, mutual understanding, mutual admiration, admire one another for what they're doing. Encourage and appreciate one another. And you feel so blessed to have such an amazing family. And also wonderful people in your workplace. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For these amazing people in my life. Now think of your work. And see that you are creating enormous success in your work. You are amazed to see how things just seem to flow so beautifully. Less efforts and more results. It's almost you are completely in harmony with nature. Even if you're putting in all the hard work, don't feel like you're putting in any work at all. And through your work, you're making a deep impact in other people's lives. Agar aap kisi company mein accountant ho, aap apne accounting ke through to make sure that the health of the company is managed so beautifully. That is called making an impact. You don't necessarily need to work directly. Whatever work you're doing is making a huge impact. Because you create excellence in everything that you do. And that is deeply appreciated and rewarded. by your customers, could be internal customers, could be external customers. And your work is spreading. More and more customers want to work with you. You can see your business growing. You can see your career growth happening. You are achieving all your professional goals. Thank you. Thank you. For, for helping me achieve all these goals.
most important is to feel the feeling, same feelings that you will feel when you actually achieve the goal. ऐसा महसूस होगा उसे उसी फीलिंग को अभी उसको महसूस करना दैट इज व्हाट क्रिएट्स द वाइब्रेशनल फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ योर गोल एंड व्हेन यू ट्यून इनटू द वाइब्रेशनल फ्रीक्वेंसी यू स्टार्ट अट्रैक्टिंग थिंग दैट इज इन अलाइनमेंट ऐसे एक रेडियो को आप ट्यून करते हो किसी चैनल से तरह से आप अपने माइंड को ट्यून करते हो अपने लक्ष्य के साथ you thank you thank you with all this wonderful work you're doing abundance is flowing into your life money is flowing into your life easily and effortlessly day by day your income is increasing you have abundance of prosperity which helps you to fulfill your family's dreams your dreams and the resources are helping you to make a larger impact to the society and when you see the smile on other people's faces it gives you deep sense of inner peace joy and fulfillment remember our true purpose on this planet is to serve serve others cause not forgetting yourself but primary goal is to serve thank you thank you for helping me create this beautiful life now let us take a moment to pray for those who need help right now so dear god please send your healing energies your unconditional love to all the living beings on the planet people who are known to me who are not known to me all the people on the global healing list those who don't know the global healing list it's an excel sheet where you can put the names of all those people who need healing maybe some friend relative so sex sheet ko access kare usme aap agar chahte ho kisi ko prayers mile to uska naam usme add kar do requesting god to send us healing energy unconditional love the entire planet earth that this energy reaches every single living being on the planet thank you it is done it is done it is done. now visualize the beautiful healing energy coming directly from god from the seventh plane falling on planet earth like a beautiful water this energy is reaching all the souls on the entire planet earth healing them at all levels physical mental emotional and spiritual as a result you can see the amount of joy happiness peace prosperity increasing on making this world a much more beautiful more loving more compassionate place thank you thank you thank you when you release all the negativity from everybody on the planet you are actually transforming from kaliyug to satyug so let us wish and pray 
that all the suffering, all the bad things they were done, what things are all getting washed. That the planet transforms into something very beautiful. Thank you. We'll do a download, a theta download, the download for today. So I'm motivated to achieve my goals. And I stay positive and optimistic in every moment of my life. Can I request the creator to download this for all of you? Please say yes in your mind if you wish to. Thank you. Creator of all that is. It is requested to download the following programs. I am motivated to achieve my goals. And I stay positive and optimistic in every moment of my life. These programs are downloaded from the seventh plane and be instilled at all cell levels and all belief levels for all the participants in the highest and the best way. Thank you. It is done. It is done. Please show me. Visualizing the energy of these programs coming from God, falling on all of us like a beautiful one. Covering your entire body, entering the body from the crown chakra, filling up all the 50 plus trillion cells. With the energy of these programs, passing through all the belief levels, Thank you, it is done, it is done, it is done. Now every cell of your body knows how to stay motivated to achieve your goals and how to stay positive and optimistic in every moment of every cell is programmed now. Thank you, it is done, it is done. Now let us create a beautiful shield around you to protect ourselves throughout the day. There are lots of different forces in this planet. It takes all kinds of energies to make the planet. So, very natural, normal. We can create a shield around us and protect us from any of those negative influences. So visualize yourself and say the word shield. Then visualize a beautiful divine white light around you with a mirror on the outside surface reflecting outwards. This is your psychic shield which will protect you from any unwanted energies. They will simply bounce. Visualize your family members and say the word she. Now visualize all your, all the things that are important for you, your home, your car, whatever is important, and say the word shield. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now bring yourself into the present moment. Having completed your mind work, Aligning your mind to make the best of this day. Tapping into all the intelligence and all the resources of your mind, of infinite intelligence, infinite creativity. Of the ability to discern between good and bad, right and wrong. When you align your minds, you are ready for the day to make the best Become aware of your breath. Become aware of the space you're occupying on your chair. Become aware of your heartbeat. The fact that there are thousands of people doing the rituals with you. 
And with this awareness, you can just rub your hands. Place them on your eyes. Feel the warmth of your palms on your eyes. Slowly taking your palms away from your eyes. The smile on your face. A blink in your eyes. Slowly open your eyes. Look into the palms. And make a beautiful wish for the day. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and a namaste to each one of you. Now slowly open your eyes and take your little mirror. Love and appreciate yourself. Look into your eyes, notice the twinkle in your eyes. That is the intelligence running inside you. If you simply look at your eyes, it is nothing less than infinite intelligence. Tell this intelligence that I love you. I really, really love you. I love and accept you just the way you are. You are perfect, whole, and complete. I love you. I really, really love you. Wonderful. And now put your fist out in the air and say yes. Today is going to be the happiest, the most productive, the most fruitful, and I'm going to break all my previous records today. <laughs> Put it out once again and say, yes! Beautiful. Give a nice hug to yourself. And give a nice hug to all your family. When you give a hug to your family members, hold them for at least five seconds. And give a pat on your back. Good job done. Will be Anna. Will Namath. Good job. Okay. Wonderful. So we're going to learn a few things from. Mr. Einstein. Mr. Einstein says there are five situations in life where you should not speak. <laughs> so what are those five situations where it is best to stay quiet and not to speak anything? Okay. Just watch the video. If I were to remain silent, I'd be guilty of complicity. Having the ability to speak out one's viewpoint is an important human feature. In many circumstances, expressing our thoughts can be the most beneficial action we can take for ourselves and those around us. On the other hand, there are also moments when it is advisable to keep quiet and it is equally important to recognize these situations. Therefore, in what situations should we refrain from speaking out? When is it appropriate to maintain silence? Number one, when your judgment is clouded do you ever find yourself in a situation where you're struggling to think straight? Maybe you're feeling exhausted, or you've had a bit too much to drink, or you're overwhelmed with emotions like anger or anxiety. In these instances, it's important to hold your tongue. Think about it, if you speak before taking a moment to clear your head, you risk saying something you'll regret later. So, instead of letting your emotions or circumstances cloud your judgment, Take a beat. Give yourself time to gather your thoughts and reflect on your perspective. And if, after some time, 
Your ideas are still the same. Go ahead and express them. But don't do it when your emotions or mental state are compromised. You'll be surprised at how much more effective and meaningful your words will be when they come from a clear and stable mind. Number two, when your words will be hurtful. There are times when it's essential to take a step back and weigh the consequences of our words. If you're in a situation where your words are likely to do more harm than good, it's best to hold your tongue. It can be tempting to lash out and say what's on your mind, but it's important to remember that your words have the power to wound and leave lasting scars. So before you speak up, ask yourself if what you have to say is really necessary. If it's not, it's better to keep quiet and avoid causing any unnecessary harm. And if you're feeling particularly upset, angry, or tired, it's even more critical to take a deep breath and reconsider your words before you let them escape your mouth. In these moments, silence truly can be golden. Number three, when your opinion doesn't matter. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you feel the urge to voice your opinion, but deep down, you know it doesn't matter? It can be tough to bite your tongue, especially when our egos are on the line. But it's essential to recognize when our words are irrelevant and better left unspoken. Think about it. If you don't have enough information about a topic or if others are clearly more knowledgeable, it's best to keep quiet. Your thoughts and opinions won't add any value to the conversation and may even detract from it. So the next time you feel the pressure to speak up, remember this wise quote. Silence is the best answer to someone who doesn't value your words. Save your words for situations where they'll actually make a difference. Number four, when you don't have enough evidence. It's important to be mindful of the impact our words can have on others, especially when it comes to matters that affect their health and well-being. So when discussing sensitive topics, it's crucial to verify the information before sharing it. Otherwise, the consequences could be detrimental. Imagine you're talking to someone who is on the fence about using a new medication. They're weighing the potential benefits against the risks and they're looking to you for guidance. If you carelessly bring up a story you heard about someone who supposedly had side effects from the same medication, you could steer the person in the wrong direction and cause them harm. That's why it's always better to be certain about the facts before sharing them even if it means holding your tongue for a moment. Number five, when asked not to speak. It's a tough pill to swallow when we realize that our opinion doesn't matter in certain scenarios. Our ego rebels against the thought of being asked to remain silent. But when faced with this request, it can be tempting to speak up, especially in work or other situation. But instead of succumbing to that urge, let's take a moment to reflect. Why are we being asked to hold our tongue? Could it be that there is a greater opportunity for us to listen and learn? These moments can be valuable growth opportunities if we're open to them. So let's resist the temptation to defend our opinions and embrace the chance to expand our understanding. If this video is helpful to you, please hit the like button and subscribe. If I so oh, there are five situations where silence is golden. This is great advice from Albert Einstein that whenever your judgment is clouded, because of emotions, anger, irritation, getting, you know, being tired, all of that. When you're hurt, words are hurtful. You know that you hurt someone So hold it. Because it can be made of someone's life. It is a double-edged sword. It can make somebody or it can break somebody. When your opinion doesn't matter, so why waste your time? Do not spend your time where it is not, your opinion doesn't matter at all. If you don't have evidence about something, then don't just speak like that. And when not asked to speak, when asked not to speak, it's a good opportunity for us to listen and learn and understand. Okay? So this is a beautiful advice from Albert Einstein, and I think it can be very, very valuable in our life. So with this, your weekly challenge is to share your experiences. Nobody has done it so far. 
So I'm going to ask all of you to share your experiences on Saturday in person. Okay. So whoever wants to feels like sharing, you can share it while we are on the session on Saturday. Okay. So let's end this session here. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a fabulous day. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. 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 Bye, Thank everybody. You so Bye. Have a nice day. See you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thanks, -bye. Nice, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Reva ji. Thank you, Ajay ji. Thank you. Thank you, Naresh ji, Umesh ji. Thank you. Thank you. Shamsundar ji. Thank you. Abhay ji. <laughs> Mansi, Darshana ji. Thank you. Thank you. Shaji, Madhvi ji, Nirja ji, Ajay ji. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye.